All right, let's practice rounding. This problem says soup is three cans for $2.45. So one can would be $0.81666. How much would you pay for one can of soup rounded to the nearest cent? Well, this is what one can of soup is, but they want it rounded to the nearest cent. When we say cents, that means to two decimal places. Or uh, another th way you can say it is rounding to the nearest cent means round to the nearest hundredth. It's another way of saying round to the nearest hundredth. So if we're going to take this number, which is the price of one can of soup, and we're going to round that to the nearest hundredth, well, our hundredth position, remember it's tenths, right past the decimal, and then hundredths, so we would have to look one place to the right. And this says that we need to round that number up. So that would be 0 0.82, or in other words, 82 cents. Okay. As she gets ready to do her income tax return, Mrs. Chen rounds each amount to the nearest dollar because that's the way our income taxes are really done. We don't deal with the cents. We always round to the nearest dollar. If union dues are $310.08, how much does she report for union dues? So we're going to take this number and round it to the nearest dollar. Well, rounding it to the nearest dollar, that means the nearest one dollar. So that's the ones position. So we're going to round looking one place to the right. Since this is a four or less, then we just drop it. We don't have to do anything to the zero. So she's going to report $310 on her income taxes. All right, now just straight money rounding. Round each money amount as indicated. So we want to round this number to the nearest dollar. Well, remember, our dollar is the ones position. So if we round that to the nearest ones, we have to look one place to the right to see what to do. Since this is a nine, that says we're gonna round this digit up. Well, if we round this digit up, it becomes a 10, which affects this digit, rounds it to a 10, which affects this digit and rounds it to a five. So we have rounded to the nearest dollar that would be $500. Now, if you think about it, it makes sense. $499.98 is only two cents away from being $500. It's pretty darn close. All right, here we have one that says 0 0.09929 rounded to the nearest cent. Well, again, remember, the nearest cent was the, another word of saying the nearest hundredth. So this first nine here is in our hundredth position. So we're going to look one place to the right. This is going to tell us that we're going to round the nine up. If we round it up, that becomes 10. So rounded to the nearest cent, nine cents basically would round up to 10 cents. Okay, our last one here said we have this number rounded to the nearest dollar. Well, think about it. This is $999.73. That's just a little bit shy of $1,000. So if we did it proper, though, the nearest dollar would be the ones position. So we would have to look one place to the right. This number is five or more, so it says to round up. By rounding this nine up, it affects the next one and the next one. So rounded to the nearest dollar, this would be a thousand dollars.